Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I am bringing you update number one on my little series called Can I Pan It? So this is my first time ever doing any type of project pan. It's kind of hard for me because I'm a little defiant even to myself, which is insane, I know, but I am. So anyway, I will go ahead and link down below in the description box as well as up here if you wanna see the last video so you can see where I've started from. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my progress so far. So as I had stated with the previous video, um, that I was going to have to at some point in time switch out my foundation shades and I definitely have had to. I got about halfway through, um, well, about a quarter of the way through the L'Oreal Pro Matte foundation, uh, but I had just recently purchased that because I'd already ran out of that summer shade beforehand. And I'm at about the quarter left way on the Pro Glow. So I did make some pretty good progress on that. I did switch out my foundation. So the new ones that I've added to the list because these just need to get used up. They're getting close to a year old. Uh, the first one here is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin and I am the shade number 45, which is Sand Beige. It's the foundation I am wearing today. I'm at about the halfway point. It's kind of hard to tell uh, because there is some foundation up here, but there's like this little breakthrough where I can see in the bottle. And actually I'm a little bit less than half. I'm probably like two thirds of the way down. So hopefully I will be able to get this finished off by January, end of January. I don't think I disclaimed that last time. January 31st. Other foundation I'm replacing is my MAC Pro Longwear. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite foundations. I'm probably about halfway to about a third left in this bottle. I really, really can't see it. Um, even when I hold it up to the light, I really still can't see through it. This stuff is like pure pigment. This stuff is so good. I love it. I'm in the shade NC30. That is my absolute perfect, perfect skin match. So threw this into the rotation. Next thing I had up was the Milani Even Touch Powder Foundation. I'm in the shade on this one, number 11, Golden Beige. Um, it doesn't look like I've made any progress. I have been using it pretty darn regularly. It has a nice dip kind of in the middle but it's going to take a while, I'm, I'm guessing, before I see progress on this. One, it's a powder foundation, so I use it very, very sparingly. It will take some time to get through this, but I do at least have a dip in it, and I've been using it a lot. Next, we'll go on to the blushes. Uh, the two I had in my pan were the uh, Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes Old Packaging. This one here in Mellow Wine. And I use it all the time. <laughs> I have it on today. It just doesn't seem like I've ever, even, I don't even see a dip in it yet. And as a matter of fact, you can still see like all the swirl patterns in it. I, you just use so very little because it's so heavily pigmented. But we did have a casualty. The pearlescent pink. Womp womp. That's what's left in there. I'm not going to try to repress this. I dropped it, broke it the rest of the way. It already had a chunk missing. I'm not going to try and repress this or play with this. It is going... File 13, we're done with it. I will go out and buy a new one. So I did decide, well, I'll replace that one with something else. And it was my Makeup Revolution Matte Blush Infusion. I drop things a lot. So this one's got a big old chunk broken off over here. I might try to repress this or I'll just, I'm just gonna, I think, you know what? I'm not even gonna mess with trying to repress that. I just threw that little chunk away. Hopefully this middle part will stay in here really good. This blush is super, super, super soft. So it doesn't take much to break it, to, unfortunately. Um, and I do love it. It's like one of my absolute favorite blushes. So there's what's left in there. Let's see how much of this we can get used up before we obliterate and have to go out and buy a new one. Next up were my contour and my bronzer. So this one is the e.l.f. bronzer palette. And I pretty much just use these three shades. Um, I could pop this little guy out and just leave him out so that I don't even have to mess with him at all. But then that bothers me. So we keep him in there. Um, but I use these three shades over here for bronzing. I don't like this one because it contains the shimmer. I don't think we're anywhere near a pan yet. It's going to take a while to get through, but we do have some pretty good dips going on. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. I have been using this pretty much exclusively. Next up is the contour palette from e.l.f. And of course you can already, this is my favorite contour shade. And I love this for setting the under eye. Um, I have dipped into this one a little bit more to do some um, 
like a little bit of kind of like perimeter bronzing when I don't want to pull out the bronzer palette just for something different. Um, but I still haven't really played with this guy over here. I'm thinking about mixing it in with this one to set the under eyes just to see if I like the effect that it gives. So, but I am making good progress on this. Next up are the two highlights that I chose. The first one is uh, Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter and this one is in the shade Radiant Lights. Um, I have been using it a lot. I have it on today um, and it's got a pretty good, I've noticed that I can see where I've carved out a little bit more because it is a baked product um, in this little section in the middle there. So we're, we're getting somewhere. I don't, do I ever think I'll hit pan on this? Hope, well maybe one day, but you know, we got it in there just so I remember to use it. Next highlighter, highlighter up though, I have the pans actually gotten larger um, and that's the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Reserve Your Cabana. Um, I use this a lot. Um, I've used it today for my inner corner highlight and a, the brow. Definitely the pan has gotten bigger on it. I've been using it a lot. And last but not least, my Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Will this ever see pan anywhere? I don't think so. So of course, get you out of the way so I don't lose you. So here's where we're at. <laughs> it looks almost the same as it did before, but I will say this. I am starting to notice a really good size dip um, up in the shade here. What shade? See, that's why I have to have this. I never remember the names of the shades. Marzipan, which I should remember. It's my favorite shade in the whole palette. There's a really, really good dip in Marzipan now. And also there's a really, really good dip in Strawberry Bonbon, bon, which those two are my like favorite for go-to shadow looks. Really kind of surprised those don't have bigger dips. It's a testament to the Too Faced formula in this chocolate bar and the fact that you need very little to achieve the look you're going for. So we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So that's it. That's my update number one on my Can I Pan It series. I feel like I'm doing pretty good actually. I've been, you know, pretty much staying on it. I am grabbing for this palette constantly. Like, I mean, at least I, it's become my go-to palette when I'm not doing a different look or trying something new or doing like a get ready with me or a tutorial or something. That's the palette I go for. These it all stays here in this little basket so I can have it right close to me and grab it. But I still feel like I'm doing pretty good. So keep sending your encouragement, your positive juju. Let me know I can do this. I can do, I can stick with this till January 31st. That's not that far away if you think about it. Once again, I wanna thank you, of course, as always, for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. Make sure that before you leave that you are subscribed to my channel. You don't wanna miss out on any of my future upcoming videos. Also, if you want to, you can get notifications by ringing that little bell down there below. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, man.